Hey everyone, it's Bright Guy the Apple Nerd here, and today this is just going to be a short video and unboxing of the new fourth generation iPad Air in Space Gray. Now, I know I'm not on the camera right now, but it's me, you know who I am. But this is just going to be a quick video, so, and also it's like 9 30 at night, so let's go ahead and get into this. Wait, hold up. Would you look at that? The bot. I know you can't really see it that well. I mean, you might be able to because this screen on my camera is very unreliable. But like right there, there's actually kind of like a dent in the packaging. I'm not sure if that was from the Apple Store or if that was just from earlier. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and open, let's go ahead and open it up. See, what I like about Apple products is that they make it really easy to open. They just make like a pull tab here and you just pull it off. Simple. Don't even need no scissors. And then all of it just comes off just so easily. And then I'm going to litter in the studio space which is actually my bedroom. It's my living space, my bedroom, and my studio, and my office. All right, well, let's get this out of the packaging. Come on. All right, let's get this out of the way. And there it is. Oh man. I, I I'm going to savor this moment. This thing was expensive, but like I had to trade in my old iPad Air that I had it was like an Air 2. I've had it for like four or five, maybe six years. But yeah, that thing was just getting old and it was slow and yeah, let's just take this out the battery kind of wasn't really lasting as long oh man this feels so nice let's just shove that over to the side my microphone is really not liking my setup okay yeah my hands are actually kind of sweaty so like I, I, I just don't want to I just don't want to take this out of the plastic wrap but I do at the same time. I kind of want to wash my hands again, <laughs> but then again, like there's no such, there's really no such thing as cleaning too much in this COVID world. But yeah, let's take this off. This is gonna be like an hour long sequence. an hour of me unwrapping this oh man that looks so good oh wow it doesn't want to come off just so I can continue savoring the moment Yeah, there we go. More stuff on the floor. Okay. If I can position this right. Hey, now you can see my face. Sort of through the reflection. Hey there, how you doing? Okay, that's enough of that. This feels really good and really cold. That Those smudges right there are for my hands that are like very hot right now which is kind of weird because my hands are usually very cold and way below freezing. I, I, I'm going to set this over here on the side. We'll get back to you in a moment. But let's see what else, what else is in the box. Just the camera. Again, I really should have used a wide angle lens 
I took it out. It's sitting, it's sitting like right over there, but I'm too lazy to put it on. Let's take this card out. Oh wow, we get a charging brick, unlike the iPhone. Wow. That's nice. It's weird that now you have to mention this in a review if it comes with the product. There we go, the paperwork iPad Air, the instructions on how to use it. I'm not an idiot, so I don't need these. I probably don't need these. And two Apple stickers. Well, that's nice. Is there something else in the box? Looks like there's cardboard. Oh, wow, that's even more fun than the iPad itself. Just kidding. Let's get this out of the way. And USB-C charging cord. I need... Oh yeah, I need another one of these. Oh wait, oh that's, that's right. It's USB-C to USB-C, it's not USB-C to Lightning. So, I mean, I kinda do need this for a few, let's just say things. But, now I have another 20 watt charger in the box. I can unwrap this on camera. Oh wow, that was quick. <laughs> and kind of anticlimactic. And then the charging cord. And it ripped. Nice. There we go. And that's everything in the box. Now to get back to the star of the show, the iPad. Now, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. The lens was kind of dirty. I don't know if that's because I set it on the desk or what, but. Yeah, let's go ahead and power it on. I apologize for like the whiteness. I could probably like turn off one of these lights. Or what I could do is probably adjust the light. So be right back. All right, first power on, here we go. Wait, do you need to press? Oh, okay. I was thinking like I probably needed to press the side button, the side button as well, kind of like the iPhone. Oh, that's right, it's vertical. Hola. Hello, okay, I don't speak those languages. Bonjour. Well, hello iPad, how you doing? All right, let's swipe up. Let's select English. Select your country or region. I think this is right. Quick start. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPad to sign in and set up. If your other iPhone or iPad doesn't show, oh, uh, doesn't show options for setting up this iPad, make sure it's running iOS 11 or later and Bluetooth has been turned on. You can also set up this iPad manually. I like doing things the easy way. So, I'm just bring my phone over here. Set up new iPad. Kind of like the AirPods pop up. Then I gotta scan the thing. Enter your passcode of your iPhone. Don't look at this. Okay, now you can look paperwork here off to the side it's starting to get in the way why haven't I thrown you on the floor yet that's where the trash goes you're trash you don't deserve to be up on the table unless you're an iPad or an iPhone touch ID use your fingerprint in, fa in place of your passcode or Apple ID password for purchases continue Wow, this thing really doesn't like my finger. 
but my but my hand is too small but my finger is too small you're being a jerk okay finally that's done yeah set up later I'm lazy terms and conditions disagree well actually maybe I might read this okay please we read this software license license carefully before using your iOS device or downloading the boring all jokes aside though like sometimes when I'm bored I actually do just read the software licenses for fun like call me a weirdo but like that's what I actually do in my free time sometimes like oh okay well we don't need you anymore iPhone store your apps and data you can use the iCloud backup okay I think we can all read here because if you got to this video I'm pretty sure you can read so let's go ahead and click continue last backup was earlier today enable location services Set up later in settings. I don't have a card to set up. I'm 14. Siri. Sure. I, no, I'm not going to set up Hey Siri because I actually have a HomePod sitting right over there that's listening for Hey, that word. But improve. I mean, not with developers, but I trust Apple. Don't share. What? Why weren't you updated out of the box, you stupid? Wait, didn't I have to get... Oh, that's right. It shared the Wi-Fi password. Okay, well, I mean, I guess it has to update, so... Now's a good time to maybe grab a cup of coffee, maybe go edit a video, maybe make a song in GarageBand. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. You just watch this whole thing. All right. And we are done updating. Now I have to finish setting this. Now I have to do the personal setup process, so don't look at any of this. All right, we are now on the last stage of complete. I think this is like the last stage that it needs before the setup is done. Oh my gosh, what is up in my chair? Okay, oh wow, there it is. I don't know what's up in my chair. Like, it just randomly, sank. it just randomly sank for whatever reason. Like my chair is doing something weird. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, that, that that looks good. And there's my home screen. And there's all my apps. Screen time enabled. Thank you for reminding me. I didn't need to be reminded, but thank you. So anyway guys, that's been the video. Thank you for watching. Click that little uh, tiny apple down there in the corner to subscribe for more content just like this one. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.